right, we're going to get super relaxed. I hope you're ready for this. So you set up your mat for Shavasana. Um, anything goes, however you're going to be most comfortable. Um, if you're using a bolster, I might suggest you prop it up a little so you're less likely to fall asleep than being flat on your back, but I leave that up to you. Nothing wrong with falling asleep. You know, you'll come back and tune in and hear me when you're meant to, so it's all good. Give you a moment to get settled. All right, when you're comfortable, I want you to close your eyes. And then I want you to do a body scan again. And I want to make sure everything is comfortable. Like I know we plop down and we're like, oh yes. But really make sure, you know, is the right arm as happy as the left? Does something need to move? Are the feet content? So just go down the body, change whatever needs to change so that you are completely blissfully happy. And then when you're ready, take a deep inhale. Loud cleansing exhale through the mouth. And I want you to allow yourself to embrace and enjoy going within. I want you to start to detach yourself from your external world. So if there are sounds going on in your room or outside of your window, start to tune them out. The only thing externally for you to hang on to is my voice so that we can go to this island together. So we begin to let go of our environment. You might take a moment to re-envision your beautiful bubble, that shield that only allows good, beautiful, healthy things in. I want you to take a moment to embrace relaxation, especially if relaxing is hard for you. As you lie here, I want you to remember that you are free from all responsibility and the mind should be as well. So it's only natural for the mind to wander off on us sometimes. If thoughts pop in, just simply draw them back to my voice so we can continue on this tropical island together. And if you fall asleep, you fall asleep. You probably needed to. But you'll hear me. You'll know when it's time to come back out of Shavasana when we get there. Let's take another long, deep breath in and let it go, allowing the body to relax. Take another deep breath in and let it go, the body getting heavier, settling into its space. Take another deep breath in, exhale completely. And then just let the breath be. And I want you to notice how calming it is to just let the breath be. You don't have to do any work. The breath will naturally pick up the inhale after the exhale and vice versa. Just notice how peaceful the breath is, how calm. And allow that calm feeling to spread throughout your entire body. And that might be a sensation you feel. You might imagine calmness as a color gently flowing through the body, arms, all the way down through the legs. Stay with that beautiful slow breath.
And as you allow your thoughts and your mind to become lighter, notice if you feel like something within you opens up. Like we have just made room for all this beautiful space that we didn't know was there. And embrace that. Follow the breath in and out, going deeper and deeper, in and out, letting go, in and out. And so just recognize that you're in a beautiful state of relaxation. I'm going to take you on a guided journey. And if visualizing is difficult for you, then let go of the images. Don't work hard. Maybe you're gonna feel sensations instead. And that's totally fine. Letting go of all expectations and allowing whatever comes to you in this guided meditation to come to you in whatever way it needs to. So allow yourself to feel your body weighting down, melting into your space, letting go of any remaining control, letting go of muscles, letting the bones feel even heavier You're letting go of control over the breath and you're letting go of control over the mind. And then taking your focus to your third eye, that space between the eyebrows, that energy center of intuition, where we go and we meditate, allowing yourself to tap into that space, knowing that you are the best you that you can be right now. So we release all judgment, we release everything, we just soak in this content, this blissful space. You are peaceful and compassionate. You are loving and loved. You are thoughtful, you are trustworthy, honest and grateful, amazing, beautiful, happy. You are happy. What does it feel like to know you're happy? Where do you feel that word in your body? Is it a sensation? Is it a color? Does it bring a smile to your face, to your heart? So together, follow my voice to this beautiful tropical island. Remember, it's just you there. It's just you. This is your time, your space. And I want you to see yourself on this amazing stretch of white sand. You're on a beautiful beach. And you just stand there with your eyes closed. You can hear the sound of the waves. I'm pausing so you make sure you can hear that. You can hear the seagulls. You might even notice that you can hear seagulls up close, but you can also hear them farther away as though they were being, well, as though their voices were being drowned out by the sound of the water. So just noticing the difference. You can smell the salt in the air. Oh, the breeze. There's an amazing 
breeze. I want you to soak that in. You might even slightly lift your gaze to the sky. You can feel the sun on your face, the warmth soaking through your shoulders, down your arms. And it's not too hot because that breeze has come to wrap its arms around you to comfort you. I want you to see yourself opening your eyes and just taking in everything around you. Notice what you see, notice what you hear, what you feel, what you smell. You might be barefoot, so if so, really wiggle the toes down into the sand. I want you to notice if the sand is just unbelievably soft and powdery or are there quite a bit of shells strewn across? So take it all in. I'm going to give you a moment. When you're ready, I want you to turn completely around so that you're now looking behind you where you're going to see a massive grouping of palm trees that you hadn't noticed before. You can now hear their leaves rustling in that breeze and you're surprised you didn't hear that before because it's kind of loud. I want you to walk up towards that group of palm trees. And I want you to notice as you get closer that it seems like there's an entrance way between a couple of those trees. And I want you to go in that entrance so that once you step through, you no longer feel the hot sun, you are completely shaded by all these massive leaves above you. And you can feel the temperature change. And it feels like you're being embraced. It feels very cozy, cocoonish, if I might. And you find that there's a path in there that goes deeper into palm trees. And I want you to go ahead and follow that path. That path is made of sand and again if you're barefoot you're just appreciating the softness of that sand against your feet. Each step is placed consciously, carefully. You continue to follow this path and as you do you start to hear the sound of water again but it's not from the waves because we've walked away from them. So there must be something up ahead of you. You continue to follow that path and then just up ahead, you can see sunlight again. So you know you're about to come out into a clearing. And when you get there, the water's louder. There is the most amazing waterfall. I just want you to soak that in for a moment. The view that you have having come back out into the sun, waterfall in front of you, fabulous trickle of water. It's just a peaceful noise. It's meditational, it's hypnotic. That breeze has followed you through the palm trees. It's still there with you to keep you nice and cool. And this waterfall, it kind of just ends up in a very small pool, if you will. It's shallow. Go ahead and wade out into that water. Feel how nice and cool that water is. And then just find a place to stop. Just stand right there. 
you are completely safe there. So no fears of if you can't swim, of being in the water, you are completely safe. That water is not deep. It's just a beautiful pool of, of water where that waterfall ends up. And I want you to look down because right in front of your feet, had we taken another step, we would have hit it, is a beautiful conch shell that I want you to reach down and pick up. I want you to look at the inner side of the conch shell. It's a beautiful, rosy pink. Go ahead, touch it, it's soft. Not soft like a cat, soft like silky, um, slippery. What's the word I'm looking for? Like glass. Glass is not soft, it's like glass. I think you knew what I meant. It's wet though, so your fingers just slide right across it. And this conch shell, don't worry, it's uninhabited. It was waiting there for you. It was waiting there for you. And it's a beautiful specimen. Turn it over in your hands. Look at it from all sides. Conch shells traditionally mm, have the symbolism of conveying a message. So I want you to take this conch shell, walk out of the water, and sit down with it. And here you have some options. Here is where I want you to tap into your own intuition. You can either sit there with your eyes closed and hold that conch shell and wait for the message it has to come to you. You could hold it up to your ear and see if you can hear the message. Whatever you need to do. But I'm going to allow you some time with that conch shell. It does have a message for you. When you have the message, I want you to set the conch shell down. I want you to rest your hand on top of it and thank it or offer it a message of gratitude. But I want you to leave it there because I want you to know that you can go back down this path at any time if you need a message and that conch shell will be waiting for you. So when you're ready, you'll slowly stand up. And we're gonna find that path again. We're gonna go back through the shade of the palm trees. Feel the coolness from the shade. And just very slowly walking our way back along that path. We are in no hurry. 
We are appreciating every detail. Again, you're feeling the sand with your feet. Maybe you're reaching out and you're touching the bark of the palm tree. Maybe there's a coconut on the ground and you stop to touch that. Just appreciate and enjoy everything. You can feel the breeze. The sound of the waterfall is fading away, but the sound of the waves is becoming louder. get closer and closer to that entrance that we first came through. And when you get to that entrance that takes you back out into the sunlight, into the beach, I want you to pause there for a moment. Because what I want you to notice, when you step out from the shade of the trees, there's going to be a flower to your right that you didn't notice before when we went in. And coincidentally, the color of that flower is the color that you chose for your lotus to be when your hands are in lotus mudra. So go ahead and step out into the sun, find that flower. And you can go ahead and pick it. You can Hold it to your heart. Go ahead and bury your nose in the petals. Take a deep inhale. Notice its perfume. And walk back down to the edge of the waves so that your toes can feel the cool water. Take your focus to the water on your feet. Really feel it, the coolness. It feels refreshing. It is waking up the cells within your body. You feel invigorated. You feel happy, peaceful. And as you allow the vision of this beach and the waves and the sound and the sensations to fade away, allow my voice to become stronger. Following my voice back to where your physical body is lying on your yoga mat. Feeling the heaviness of the body again. Noticing how the body is completely relaxed and at peace and how amazing that feels. I want you to take your focus down into your toes. Go ahead and wiggle just the toes. And then bring them back to stillness as you allow the fingers to find some movement. And then bring stillness back into the hands. Taking your focus to your breath. Deep inhale. Gentle cleansing exhale. And just pausing right here. Pausing as we allow the body to release the heavy feeling and bring in some lightness. What I want you to take away from your meditation is how does the message you received from the conch shell correlate with the chakras that we isolated? The chakra that is connected to the color of your flower and the one that's connected to the color of your shield. So you have a little bit of homework to do to think about that. And again, of course, if you can't figure it out, email me. Tell me what you saw. Tell me what the message was and what the colors were. We're going to take another deep breath in. Stronger exhale this time. And then go ahead and bring some movement into the body. Let the body wake up. 
stretch whatever wants to stretch. If you feel like you don't want to move, you can stay there a little bit longer while everybody else stretches. And in fact, let me give you this option. You can either stay exactly where you are or you can roll into a fetal position to eventually join me back in a seated pose. So you can end in either position, laying down or sitting up. Doesn't matter to me, it's completely up to you. So if you wanna stay on the earth, stay there. If you wanna come back up, fetal position first. Stay there for a few breaths. If you're in that fetal position, gently push your way up. Try to keep your eyes closed. Try to hang on to the peaceful feeling that you created. Last one, deep inhale through the nose. Let it go. If you're still laying down, take your hands, cross them over your heart. If you're seated, inhale, oops, inhale both arms all the way up, bring the palms together and exhale them home to your heart. The light in me bows to the light in you. When I'm in that place in me and you're in that place in you, then we become one. Namaste.